today's video we're going to be comparing Canon 7D Mark II uh, which is a very popular camera for wildlife um, with an older Canon camera the 1D Mark IV. One of the reasons that I believe you can compare these two cameras to one another uh, is because of price. So you can't buy 1D Mark IVs new anymore but on the second hand market the prices for used 1D Mark IVs is pretty close to what you can buy a new 7D Mark II IV. So you may be somebody who's trying to choose between these two cameras. I own both of them and have used them both for wildlife photography for a long time. So I'm going to be sharing uh, some of my thoughts and experiences uh, and just with the idea of trying to help you decide which one might be a better choice for your kind of, uh, of photography. So starting out with the build quality of the cameras. 7D Mark II, pretty tough and rugged for a, for a crop camera. It's got the grippy rubber that Canon are covering their cameras in in the last couple of years. So it's got a more tactile uh, grip and, and feel to the surfaces. Canon have also told us that the 7D Mark II is weather sealed to the same level as a 1D body. Uh, 1D Canon bodies are built to their highest uh, levels of durability and toughness. If we take a little look at the 1D Mark IV's build quality, not quite as grippy the rubber feel, but we can see there's no built-in flash like the 7D Mark II. So that means you can have a unified uh, alloy uh, sort of chassis over the top here. And there's also no mode dial. So the camera uses a button, which is perhaps, uh, again, a more, uh, more robust sort of approach than the circular mode dial that we find on the 7D Mark II. But both cameras are really well built. The next comparison that we can make is the physical size. So straight away in this, in this form, uh, the 7D is obviously significantly lighter uh, and it's also a little bit smaller. It doesn't have a built-in vertical set of controls. So a lot of people might make the decision based on that choice alone. So uh, several hundred grams uh, weight advantage goes to the 7D Mark II. So 1D Mark IV, a little bit heavier, but for that additional weight, you do get a set of vertical shooting controls, which uh, makes portrait shooting a little bit easier. You can also get a battery grip for the 7D Mark II, which uh, once you attach that to the bottom of the camera, uh, physical size gets quite similar um, between the, the two cameras. The 7D Mark II um, clearly got a lot of um, Canon's latest uh, control surfaces and buttons. So uh, if we look at the back of the camera, we've got live view, easy to engage, What's also easy to use on the 7D Mark II is a Q button for quick access to many of the settings. And if we look up on the top of the camera, there is a MFN button, which uh, enables us to quickly change focus groupings. So the 1D Mark IV kind of shows its age a little bit when it comes to the controls, uh, particularly with regard to accessing live view. Um, you kind of have to use the set button to, uh, to get live view to switch on. There is no Q button on the back of the camera. And it also, although it has a, a button ahead of the shutter, you're not able to program that button to change focus modes. You have to go into the menu uh, on the 1D Mark IV to change focus groupings. 7D Mark II can make that change really easily. Um, another place where the 7D Mark II um, stands ahead of the older camera uh, is in the ability to 
custom tune and to set up the controls that are already here for your own particular preferences. So we would do that by going into the menu to the custom control screen and we can basically reconfigure a whole bunch of these um, buttons or dials to to our own particular preference. Uh, the 1D Mark IV allows some customization of uh, of controls but not to not anywhere near the same degree of uh, of options as as are available on the 7D Mark II. What's also um, a win for the 7D Mark II is that its control um, surfaces, its buttons and its control features and its menu structure are very similar to what you'll find in the 5D Mark III, 5DSR, 1DX, 1DX Mark II. So all the new generation Canon cameras um, are easy to shoot side by side with the 7D Mark II because you'll already be familiar with those um, menu menu options and functions. Uh, the 1D Mark IV, a little bit uh, a little bit lagging behind in that regard, in that the menu systems and uh, functions are of an earlier generation. So a little bit of a learning curve or um, things you need to remember if you're using a 1D Mark IV alongside one of the newer Canon cameras. With wildlife cameras, it's obviously an advantage if you have speed and response uh, as part of uh, as, as part of your your uh, your camera's capabilities. And both of these cameras really um, deliver in that regard. 7D Mark II shoots at 10 frames per second, and that's no different to the 1D Mark IV. Also shoots at 10 frames per second. We're going to just have a check at what the buffer performance and the burst performance is like. Um, both of them have UDMA7 160 megabyte cards in their drives. And I'm going to start with the 7D Mark II. This is at ISO 800. And we're going to put that guy down. Do the same thing with the 1D Mark IV. I took one shot after the buffer filled. With those UDMA 7 cards, you are able to continue shooting with either camera uh, when the buffer is full, somewhere between two and three frames per second. Um, I just stopped there um, because I don't want to wear out my shutters. Um, I'm going to just quickly have a look at how many images we got here. So 72 is showing 30 images in that burst on the UDMA7 card and the 1D Mark IV is showing us 30 images as well. So pretty much identical burst performance and speed out of the two cameras. Uh, both cameras also have a SD card slot so you can choose whether you want to shoot to CF or SD. Um, typically the CF drives just a tiny bit faster than the SD drives. So one of the things that you might have noticed from the burst shooting there was also that the 7D Mark II is a lot quieter than the 1D Mark IV. So that's definitely an advantage when it comes to wildlife photography and other, other types of photography where noise might be intrusive. Um, both cameras have a silent mode option, but the 7D II is way advanced. The silent mode is much quieter. You can also choose whether to shoot single silent mode which is one shot at a time or a continuous silent mode which would be, allow you to shoot it between four and five frames a second. Um, the 1D Mark IV is very limited in that regard. Silent mode just gives you a, a one shot option and it uh, is not that quiet actually. Subscribe to this channel if you want to keep getting videos about Canon gear from a wildlife photographer's perspective.